I wish I had somewhere secure to put everything in the back of my Jeep when I have a soft top on or no top on. Hi everyone, this is Larry Jeep and Mo. Welcome back to the channel. And today is part two of the drawer install of our Jeep JL. First part of it, we had the side rails all built and installed and the, the plate on top. Today we'll get the supports in, we'll build that big drawer. It's a lot of aluminum welding. It's the biggest aluminum thing I've ever welded. So we'll walk you through that. Now when you're looking at this, if you don't have a way to weld aluminum, you can easily make this out of steel just as well. And actually steel, it'll weigh a little bit more, but it'll cost a lot less. So it's not a bad trade-off there. So as you follow along, steel is just fine. And as we do it, I'll show you some more places to buy the steel. They got some pretty cool stuff there. Remember, you can always buy remnants. You don't always have to buy just, uh, I'll say, fresh cut. We utilized our, our metal supplier and their shearing capability, which makes it really nice for the aluminum. So with that, let's get this uh, prepped, welded, and installed. So let me show you an option for that. So this by far is the biggest aluminum project I've ever done. We've been welding little coupons up. We welded up some strips on the, the frame for this. But these are going to be some long runs. I'm going to have to work on my tie-ins a little bit. I'm going to have to get some tacks in the center. Hit square within a little bit under 16th. Get her all welded up. Get her, get her bolted in. Now that by far is the longest well I've ever done continuously. There towards the end, it started getting a little hot, started keyholing on me. But I think it'll still be a good weld. So that's a 32 inch run. Three rods, so. Let's do this side. All right, so I had to get a little creative. I'm not used to running up or downhill yet. So basically I took a one, two, three block there on the bottom, set it on that, clamped the angle plate to the table, clamped over it, and uh, I'll just rest my hand right on top. So our supports we're building, right, they're going to help, this is going to stiffen up the center section a little bit so that it'll hold a little more weight. And eventually we'll run a screw from the tread plate down to this, and that'll stiffen the center section up. So what we'll do is we'll screw these in, and it'll, it'll add a stiffener. It'll be one in the front, one in the back, one in the center. So on this build, no Jeeps were harmed. Everything bolts into factory locations so you don't have to worry about drilling any holes in your Jeep. And if you don't if you want to take it out, everything bolts right back in where it was at. Now we have one of these we gotta fix. This corner right here is not supposed to be welded because it fits up against the channel. Well one of my welded, so we gotta grind out this weld. To grind that shoulder out, I'm just gonna use a hard wheel. You know, it'll, it'll come in, we can grind this edge. But I'm using a new one because it's got a nice square corner on it. All right, we can always break it and file it. You can always throw it away and remake a new one, but, you know, mistakes are going to happen. And you need, you need to know how to recover as well. So I'll show you a few tricks when you're grinding aluminum, how to keep it from loading up your wheel. We've done some collaborations with Rock Mount. 
They have some pretty good products like these grinding wheels, flap wheels, also some welding rods for very hard to weld materials, maintenance type welding. So if you ever need anything like that, definitely check out Rock Mount. Something else the wax works good for. It works as a good lube for the screw. And you don't have oil and goo all over your clamps that way. All right, so we're gonna use our trusty transfer screws again. I guess if you machined everything on the machining centers and everything else, you wouldn't have to worry about this, but location's everything. I'll set it on top. Now it's gonna go under it. And then from here, really, all I have to do is just tap it, drill them from the top, and I'll countersink them from the top. Give this a good location to drill by. I don't claim to be an ace welder. I'm a home hobby welder, just like uh, I assume most people who are watching this are. All right, so we have to take it out, drill these holes. We got to finish the insides of these channels to accept the slides. Put it all back in and build the box. All right, to clean up the welds on the inside, which my my own admittance are not my best welds. We're gonna go to a flap style wheel, right? So we get these from Rock Mount also. So this is almost it's a uh, like an emery cloth that's bonded together that'll clean those welds up really nicely. All right, so what we've done to space these slides in the in the frame properly, I'm using these uh, one, two, three blocks and a piece of quarter inch material. And since this material has a radius on the bottom, I've got it sitting up on a piece of quarter inch material. Now you could just go in here and mark it with a pencil, but just like we had transfer screws, they're transfer punches as well. Same thing, a little punch, it's got a tip on it. And they come in, they usually come in a full set. That's not to say you couldn't just trace it, center punch it, and go from there. Okay. So you just gotta find the size. and then get it where you wanted and then you would put the center one in but we're not going to really adjust these and then on this end they gave you a couple access points to get to the locations there's one there and one there so we'll get them drilled out, we'll tap these, and we'll put a lock nut on the back side just to make sure they don't move. All right, so these are basically done. I've got some scotch Bright, basically on an orbital sander. We're going to clean these up. Get the slides mounted to them and uh, get them in a the Jeep. It's kind of hard to see, but we're right up against the door. We're not touching, so that's good. It couldn't come any more forward. We could have went back. A little bit but pretty happy with that the holes for 
Good, everybody stiffened up the top of that quite a bit, putting those braces in. Now we just gotta get the door made. We had all the diamond plate sheared at metal supermarkets. So if you ever need any kind of thing like diamond plate, any other stock, they've got some remnants you can buy. You can buy it cut to order. And the St. Louis locations offering anybody who mentions Jeeping Mo a discount. They're not sponsoring us, but they're willing to give us a discount. So we very much appreciate it. Check them out. So that's the pan. It by far is the largest thing I've ever welded, especially aluminum. A little tricky at times, coming up on the corners. Once again, I'm a hobby welder, so, so we gotta get this in the Jeep, and then we'll end up making a, possibly making a faceplate for it, not sure yet. So I'm just gonna center up the drawer. And I'm gonna get the first screw in which is for the adjuster. Well I'm gonna move it back and forth a little bit. Now on this side it's going to be a little tighter. We just got to send the drawer up, make sure the slide is at the right spot. Okay, now on this side it's a little different. Because obviously there's not a lot of room, so we're going to use a 90 degree drill attachment. Okay, one quick thing about a slide. So always start with these front holes, they're, they're slotted. You can get the screws in there and you can adjust up and down before you start putting in the rest of your screws. That allows you to get everything adjusted before you go. Start with the slots, not the actual holes. It'll make it a lot easier on you. All right, then once you've got it all in, I'm just using acetone and a scotch bright pad to clean up this front face. If you want to put a piece over the front, you can. I might eventually put a handle on it. All right. And that is a drawer install on your Jeep JL. I would imagine you could probably build something like it in the JK using the factory mounts. All right, so when it's all done, these slides have these locks on them. You just push down, and you just open the drawer up. You can hear it lock. That way it's not sitting there rolling back and forth while it's in the back of your Jeep. Or if you're sitting on an incline, the slides have. You press it, it just pushes the lock up out of the way, and allows the drawer to close. And when it's in, it's locked. Now we took the top tray off so you can get to everything here. The only thing I might do to this drawer is I might cut a hole in the opening. So I might cut a hole in the drawer and some Zeus fittings. 
so I can take the center of it out so that when I want to get to the stuff in the bottom, I can slide it out and get everything in there. So that was building a drawer system in the back of a Jeep JL. We use stock locations. We didn't have to drill anything. But if you like this type of content, check out some of our other videos. If you would share the video, we'd appreciate it. So until our next adventure, which will be Lone Star Jeep Invasion, we'll see you there. This is Jeeping Mo.